In addition, we would also like to acknowledge the support the high school and college campuses nationwide, including the following youth organization, Alpha Phi Omega, Chai Pi Phi Flutmanate, what's that, Chai, Chai Phi, oh, uh, what's, uh, what's the first one, huh? Chai, it's C-H-I, is that Chai? C-H-I is Chai. What are you, Mexican, my name is Harry? To my Spanish-speaking friends, so de betiara que de betiara, so de de betiara, Jewish pain in the toilet. The Chi Phi fraternity, the Circle K International, the Distributive ed Education Club, the, uh, the, uh, uh, who wrote this? The kids in the crayon school? Distrib di distributive edu- say it. Distributive. Where did you get on this show all of a sudden? <laughs> distributive Education Clubs of America. Kappa Alpha Order, Key Club International, Sigma Alpha Epsilon, Motley Mate in Lutland, Set and Date in Barbie, La Dalton Dalton Fraternity, the Kenton McVeigh McGordneys, and the Royal Baby Schmidayden. They sound better than the ones they had on the car. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, Larry, you got something for me? Huh? What? You do? You're kidding. Are you sincere? Would you like, speak up? Come over here. Kiss my ring and then speak. <laughs> Wait, lean down, get down. You take the Nina and the Pinta and the Santa Maria and go discover something, you fakakta idiot. <laughs> this is a wonderful guy. What's his name, this guy that's working? Okay, we have some marvelous... Are you two working together? Oh, you're kidding. No, shopping centers? No, we have entertainment. Who said? Oh, Arthur. They're not here. We can't... Well, will you get over here and call them? Well, get over here, now Bob, here. get over there. Rick, come over here. No, don't bump into Bob. No, no, oh, look at this. How did I get screwed up with this kind of crew? Introduce Bob, if you can, and Rick to Buck, Buck oh, and Mel. Buck, do you Buck, know say Mel hello to Bob. Rick, say hi Mel, to Bob. say hello to Rick. Say Rick, hi, say hello Rick. to Mel. Here's hey, Bob. Larry, say get Bob, over yeah. and say hello to Mel Larry, and Rick. Larry, did you say hello to Buck and Rick, Mel? Rick, come here. Do you know yeah. the guys? Who are, hey, Jimmy. Jimmy, you, do know you have Bob? a chance? Hey, Billy, come here. Yeah. Kenny. Come on over and say hello. You know hello. Bobby? Yeah, Bobby, say hello to Ken. I'd like you to meet the little woman. Hi, hon. Hey, kid. Do you know my son, Anthony, Bob? Get over here. Don't hurt him. He'll sit on you and you're dead for a year. Look at this nonsense. Okay, hit it. 124. One, two, one, two, three, four. Wanna see me lead the band? You got it. One, two, one, two, three, four. That's it. Okay, now. supposed to be doing a big intro now. Oh, Get I back forgot. out there. I forgot. Get out there. Hold it.
Thank you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I, I'm sorry I goofed in the beginning of the show because actually that was just the number to, to get the show started and to say welcome to the telethon. I'm out here for another reason. It's a very brief reason to introduce my friend, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jerry Lewis. Every little bit helps. <laughs> Can you see that we're not exactly ready, folks? <laughs> but that's okay. This is the crew behind the scenes that rarely gets on camera. Come on, fellas. Face forward and wave to all of your families out there. Go ahead, guys. Wave. Did you ever see such a motley group in your whole life? Did you ever see such a group? Yeah, well, where do we put it? Well, let's stick that. Yeah, I'll take that. You grab that, Fred. Right? Here's that. Oh, I got mine. Are you okay? And he dressed up. He puts all his money in clothes right there. <laughs> <laughs> I got some news for you. Now I'm getting dirty looks from my other crew. Okay, whip around three or four. How are you, Scotty? You haven't been on television for a long time, have you? No, not at all. You've never been on television? Uh, no. <laughs> no. Did anyone ever tell you you look like Angela Lansbury? <laughs> nope. Not, not Angela Lansbury. <laughs> not Angela Lansbury. I'm glad to have you on the show, Scotty. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. We, uh, actually, what's, what's happening here, folks, is you see, we had um, a couple of performers scheduled, uh, but there's transportation problems in Las Vegas. We're having some transpo uh, transportation problems. Uh, problems in Las Vegas. Most of the uh, freeways are heading towards the theater here. And uh, for some reason, there's a couple of off-ramps that have been uh, taken by some people who are... Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't go for that one with a fork. <laughs> but uh, we... Oh, we're getting better. We're getting better now, see? We're getting all set here. We're... Uh, no, we're not all that much better, actually. Uh, you know what I used to do at the Americana in 1966? I used to run up in the audience and I used to talk to the people to find out where they're from. Hi. Wait a second. Hold it. Hold it. Why don't you stand right up there and say that so everyone can hear you? I'm 74 years old. I saw Jerry Lewis, all his movies, all my life. You're 74 and you saw me all your life? Sit down there. Vince. Isn't that wonderful? Yes, sir. How are you? Thanks. I'm Mel Barron from San Diego, California. Uh, You're from one of the greatest cities in America, San Diego. I spent four weeks there one night. Thank you. I brought a check for the kids, sir. Well, I'll take your check. Thank you. That's very nice. Is there any reason that it's post-dated? No, I'm kidding. Actually, we ran across the audience in New York City, and I had a bucket. And I would have the people put money in the bucket, and people wondered, how could I run through the audience and do that? And then we would count up how much money we had in the bucket, and we would get as much money as a wheelchair cost. So I ran through the audience, and then I found out how good we were doing. 
I would run every hour. Every hour I'd run through the audience. I'm happy to tell you that I had heart surgery about four years ago, so there won't be running through the audience. I may stroll through the audience and greet some of the nice people. They just happen to have a bucket that's available. Isn't that something? Well, I wouldn't impose on anybody unless I saw someone going to the hip. I would never impose on anybody. I just got some Rado. That's good. I just got something from the letter carriers. You know, we, we get 21 different audiences in here during the course of this program. And it's really marvelous how far this goes. It's an amazing, wonderful outpouring of love. I love when the guy steps on a lady and says, let me get my dollar in there, you drunken old broad, you. I love that. Sure, this is terrific. I think I'll do this every hour to hell with the phone calls. Sure, you're writing a check, lady? Will you let that lady write the check for crying out loud? Here, why don't you just sign it, give it to me blank, and trust me. Would you trust me? Sure, you would trust me. I think if I play my cards right, I could make that broad. Okay. Here we are. Thank you very much. See, they're moving over. Oh, hey, that's a C note. I'll, I'm gonna, that's terrific. I, look, is this wonderful? I was only kidding, but meanwhile, I don't care if the next act shows up or not. The hell with them. We're doing pretty good here. Oh, his bar mitzvah suit. He gave me from the bar mitzvahs. Thank you. There's something very warm and loving about people giving. I think that's so nice. Thank you very much. Did I miss anyone here? You want to go to your stocking, lady? I think that's wonderful. I'm going to go back. I'm going to get back. Yeah, look at this. They're pointing. Did I miss someone? Okay. Go ahead. Gee, it feels like the old days. You know, you could get up and then you'll be on television. Do I want what? A $10 bill or a $25 chip? Put the $25 chip in there. Now give me the 10. That's it. I knew I'd get it out of them. God bless you, that's terrific. I tell you what, every time, yeah, every time we get into a problem, I'll just come up in the audience and see how much we can really nail down. Just, where are you folks from? Where are you from? Las Vegas. Las Vegas. You're not a tourist, for crying out loud. Okay, we'll take it. And we're going to perform for you. We're going to have the uh, other performers for you. You can pass it down, you know, to the other people. Look at this. I got a cop. I got a fireman. I got a lady. Uh-uh. Just picked up a hooker, folks. That's okay. It's good American cash. I love this. You know what we're going to do? Every time we run into a problem, technically, I'm going to grab the bucket, run up the audience, see what we pick up, and in that way, how about a nice hand for this great group of people right here? That's great. Thanks, Johnny. Merci beaucoup. Merci. Oh, I love that. Seems like all Thank you very kindly, and a very pleasant good evening to you, and welcome to Telethon 85. It doesn't seem like 36 years ago when we began, and it never seems like that. But nonetheless, it does. Are you talking while I'm talking? Because they can hear you as well as hearing me. No, if you take the headphones off, did you ever notice when people have headphones on? Oh, uh, yeah, take that last part out, Fred. <laughs> Did you talk to them later? You bald-headed sapsucker. <laughs> He's been with me for 35 years, and to this day, I cannot understand how that happened. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here we go again. We're going to Atlanta. What do you think? Oh, I'm feeling good tonight. You think it's a little early for a prediction? <laughs> <laughs> what, have we got money up there already? Yes, $8,000, that's yeah, not bad. That's not bad. First bare. 10 minutes, I'll go for that. You now know, I think, you know uh, what we could do with that money? What's we that? could use that money towards getting another conductor. Are you having trouble with that old man again? <laughs> You're always having trouble with yeah. that old man. <laughs> yeah. He puts those earphones on, he can't hear you. You bet. Huh? What's that? Okay. Say again. <laughs> and now... <laughs> Introducing. Right, Jerry, right now, let's meet our television uh, host. What? Let's meet our television host. 
the man who's responsible for us being here at Caesar's Palace, all right? Oh, you what? know it would be a good idea? Wouldn't it be great? He can't hear and I can't use the microphone. <laughs> We're a great pair, Lou. Lou, he cut me. Ed, caught me. Ed, Let's you, don't know, you don't know how funny. Put the mic back down. Now do it again, but so, so Go ahead. Let's meet our television host. <laughs> Let's meet our I telethon you host, us. the president of Caesar's Palace, Donald L. Allison. Mr. Jerry Lewis. Thank you. Thank you very much. Play that introduction, Louis. That would be nice. Play that introduction. Look at this, how a man is telling him now. We had 15 minutes to tell them, right? You ready? Look at how he's telling I'd love to try this, okay? Try it, Louie. Let's see what happens. A marvelous lyric by the most talented Lil Mattis. Listen to the words. They say more than I could say. I've had but one dream all my life A dream I feel will soon come true I see the end of pain and strife But still so much depends on you <laughs> could we could I know it I know it's difficult for you to hear because we are so far apart. Let me start it with you here so I can get it in the tempo. Okay? On the top again. And as everybody, ready? But one dream all my life A dream I feel will soon come true I see the end of pain and strife But still so much depends on you They need your love, your contribution I know I've asked for them before But there's no other substitution That's what it takes And so I ask once more one more time If you will look into your hearts You'll see the joy that you can bring It's now, it's here, the battle starts Let's get those telephones to ring The lovely sound of children's laughter The sight of healthy kids at play These are the goals that we are after Mother's child deserves to be that way every day. The answer is so close at hand. And it will be because of you. But as 
was for now you understand There's just one thing that you can do So won't you call me Come on and call me That's why I'm here Thank you. Good, nice to see you. I got to get the, excuse me one second, Sam. I got to get my floor men to tell the audience because they're never too sure whether they should applaud or not. So let's get my floor men out and working. And on this side, because you know, you know what a long walk it is without applause, you feel rejection. You know what I mean? Let the people know. Get back there, Sam, and come out again. Okay. Thank you, Jerry. You're welcome, Sam. You'll get no abbreviations here. Okay. <laughs> well, who, who has represented United Airlines for years? He's an MDA board member and the vice president of United Airlines, and we want you to see a videotape first. Please. I didn't think that was too long, did you? That should do it. I like them brief. They're much better. Why did we have it marked? I don't know. It's just a mix-up on the cards. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Bob Sampson, right here. Welcome to our second hour. It will be a brief hour, but it is indeed our second hour. And welcome to the Jerry Lewis Theater here at Cashman Field in Las Vegas. We have a lot of work to do, and a lot of things to tell you, and a lot of wonderful people to have you meet. I want you to meet a young man right now from the movie Princess Bridge. No, Princess Broad. Wait, come here for a second. Come here for a second. Come here. If you put princess here and you put bride there, see, it's so tight. No, this, does that look like a G in Jewish or not? I knew I'd win that one. No, I, I really, it's just, it, hey, at 63, I'm thrilled that I can find the theater. <laughs> no, it was my fault, Mary. It was my fault. It was, it was my fault, Mary. It was not Scotty's fault. It was my fault. And I think it's wonderful that a person of my stature will take that position in front of the American public. Okay. I'm happy to have you on the show. Oh, and I'm very happy to be here to raise money for muscular dystrophy to I help want find you to, a cure. I want you to know we could use a little more uh, in the theater, Neil please, so I can hear him and he can hear me. Um, I want you to know one of the big reasons. First of all, I would like you to let the people know that we have not rehearsed anything. Nothing. This is total improvisation. So. Okay. <laughs> Nobody asked you for those kinds of words, Fred. I just said that we have not rehearsed, and you could have said, that's right, we didn't rehearse. Right. It said I said... You said improvisation, which, well, what's religion got to do with anything? <laughs> The important thing about having you on the program for me was that people that watch our show each year, the reason for our doing the show is to affect them, to in some way inspire them, to somehow have them relate to other people. 
Now, you have one of the most wonderful shows on the air today. Thank you. You're a very talented young man, but you're a young man, and if you don't mind my asking, how old are you? Uh, 13. 13, okay. You're a young man that falls in the parameter mm -hmm. of where a lot of my kids are, mm -hmm. okay? And I thought, wouldn't it be nice if kids in wheelchairs at 13 years old heard from a young man who was fortunate enough to be born healthy, talented, to be a television star, maybe inspire them that those that might be in the chair that are eight years old, and hopefully we can get them out of there, they could be like you. What would happen to you, or what do you think you would be doing today if you weren't a healthy young man? I'd probably be sitting down watching you right now, talking to some other little boy on a TV show. But, uh, you know, I'm just very, you know, glad to be, like you said, born healthy. And, uh, and you know, just because you have muscular dystrophy doesn't mean you're not healthy. I, you know, met a wonderful boy backstage who has a terrific voice. And I'm sure, you know, many other kids are, you know, talented in other ways. I mean, they won't, they're not going to be able to, you know, run around and play, but I mean, they're talented inside. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I'm just very, I'm very glad that I'm just, I'm very glad that I'm healthy and uh, I, you know, I want to do all I can to help put a stop to MD, so. Well, the young man you're talking about is a young man from Alabama. Alabama, right. Right. He's going to be, be, be performing in a little while with the Oak Ridge Boys. He has turned a negative into a positive. And I think it's important for young people that are watching you to be able to dream. I think it's important for young people that are watching you to be able to hope. And so much of what we do is based on hopes and dreams and prayers. And that's why I wanted the healthy Fred Savage to be on this program, for them to see who is doing so very well. That isn't saying I'm doing so very well because I'm healthy, but is saying I'm doing so very well and it could happen to you too. It, it very well could. And, uh I'm just, you know, thank you. <laughs> I'm just, you know, very happy. And uh, like you said, that's what, you know, that's how you get to where you are, by hopes and dreams and prayers. And uh, I think if we all, you know, hope and dream and pray together that, uh, you know, our dreams will come true. When you are working in a new venue, as we call it, a new theater, there are some bugs, and little bugs will happen. But that bug, that sucker weighed 3,000 pounds. What are we doing today? Yeah, yeah. What? What? Oh. Oh, thank you, uh, Paul. That's our director, Paul Miller. And I do appreciate, I, I thought, for some reason, I thought I had to be on that side, Paul. Yeah, that's okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay. I think it's you, Ed. It is. Oh, okay. Let's welcome back the president of Faults Vending Company and MDA vice president, Roger Faults, and his wife, Adele. I think we got, I think... I think we got screwed up. Yeah, we really did. That was my fault, Ed. What happened? Well, you see, the Kindercare spot, we have to talk to Perry, who is the president of Kindercare, and the Foles card is wrong. Can I have oh. that one? That's coming up. 
That's coming up, but not now. Do you have the Kindercare card? Let's look around. Kind Do you kinder folks care. in the audience try mind helping us find the yeah. right card? Yeah. Oh, there's the, that's the one, right? We already did no, that. No, we did the VTR. Yeah. Now, after that, Ed has to introduce me to Perry, who is the president. You don't have a card on we that? We don't have a card on that. Well, here's well, how we'll do that. Well, let's, why don't you just go hello, see if you can find somebody to say hello to. Hello, Perry. Hello, Jerry. How are you? Why don't you tell everybody what your official capacity is? Well, I hate to brag, Jerry. Oh, get on with it. <laughs> anyway, I'm Perry Mendel. I am chairman of the board of Kindercare Learning Centers and the founder of the same. Big bucks. Big bucks. Big bucks. Yeah, Jerry, I didn't know you were that way. <laughs> for big bucks, I'd walk a mile for a camel. Jerry, let me say it's good to be back here today with you. It's a pleasure to see you, and I have a small room at the Motel 6 that oh, we I can see. Well, meet in. <laughs> what is the appointed hour? Will you get on with it? <laughs> Jerry, this is Kid to Care's 12th year of participation with the Muscular Dystrophy Association. Right. And with me today are our top fundraisers that I would like to introduce to you. Thank you. The Sam Mazzullo, Regional Manager from Irvine, Texas. Hi, Sam. Gloria Seidel, District Manager. Hi, Gloria. From uh, Anaheim, California. And Ola Williams, who is the center director from Fullerton, California. I believe I said Texas. Sam is also from California. Jerry, it's these people that represent all of the employees, the parents, and the kinder care kids that allows me to bring to you a check for your kids. So it's with great pleasure that kinder care presents to you today this check for one million dollars. Stay well. Thank you. Let's hear it for Kindercare. They do some good stuff. I think, uh, Mr. Time. Time. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah, a timpani Go. from Mr. McMahon. A timpani. Roll it. He loves to hear that. Oh, yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. I love it myself. Look at that number. $11,143,212 at 10 minutes past 8, Las Vegas time. It's 10 minutes past 11 in New York, 10 minutes past 10 in Chicago. And when you get this side of Chicago, it's 10 minutes past whatever they have, uh, mountain or central or medieval time. I don't know. Uh, I thank you. I, I know that the guys in the sound department, are, they're having a problem. But it would be nice if I could hear myself in these speakers instead of a loud piano. Could you do that for me so I don't blow this? Because I got nine more, ten more hours to do here. And I'm, a, I'm sort of a utility man. So if you can bring it up so I don't have to stick this, you know, up here like this. Because my nose is flat enough. <laughs> <laughs> the guys are doing the best thing. Thank you. That's wonderful. Keep it right there for me, babe, and we can cook. Because I've got to do one cooking thing here for Mr. Lewis. Look out. I've wined and dined on mulligan stew, I've never wished for turkey. I've hitched and hiked and drifted too, from Maine to Albuquerque. When I go home to Harlem, I try to act real cool. Hey, what it is, blood? But when I go uptown, I make damn sure that I never take Peter or two. Social circles spin too fast for me. My main man, <laughs> my uh, hope, bohemia, that's the place I want to be. Ha, ha, ha. 
She gets too hungry for dinner at eight. She loves the theater but won't arrive late. She just won't argue with someone she'd hate. That's why the lady is a tramp. Won't go to Coney, Malibu is fine. Loves the French Riviera in season divine. She refuses to believe Jerry Falwell is a friend of mine. That's why the she likes that green grass growing under her shoes. Ray Charles sing the blues. She's flat, that's that. She's all alone when she lowers her lamp. That's why the lady. That free, fresh wind in her hair. Her life's without care. She is broke, but it's so hates California. It's foggy and damp. That's why the lady is a tramp. Why the lady? Why the lady? Why the lady? You were supposed to do two numbers in this spot. You did your two numbers, but you don't think this crowd's going to let you leave with just two numbers. All right. Get these monitors up. Let's get them up to where they belong. Hello? Can I have this How's microphone? That? Good. Let's see what happens with this one. Okay, now, what did we have up that I switched to Lady as a Tramp for? Okay, here we go. Great day. Look out. One, two, three, four. This is an arrangement by Marty Page from a show called Finian's Rainbow. I'll kill you. On that great, come and get it day. Oh, won't it be fun when we're holding? Oh, 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 ha, 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 oh, ha. Oh. Hold it, please. Ha, oh, ha. Oh. You are beating one and three. <laughs> now, if you want to cook with me and I want you to join me, it's got to be two and four, right? All right. One, two, one, two. Yeah, there you go. On that great, come and get it taken. 
won't it be fun when the worry is done and the money is hay? Uh, that's the time things are gonna come your way. On that grave, come and give it day. I'll buy my gown, that calico gown. My mule, that acre of ground. For the word has Gabriel's horn, that the earth beneath your plow is put, and now is yours. Glory time, coming for the state. Can you believe that half a person makes all that noise? <laughs> I got a friend out there. <laughs>